friends, I am your friend Chetan Bhola and you are watching Bhola Mactech. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the map sensor. So I have made a video previously about the map sensor. You can please watch that video also so that you can easily compare the difference between map sensor and the map sensor. So keep watching this video. You are going to learn a lot of things about the map sensor. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, please subscribe at this moment. Share this video to your friends also. The full form of the MAP sensor is Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. So as the name suggests, it is gonna sense the pressure inside the manifold and accordingly, and accordingly it will it is gonna take actions by sending these signals to the ECU and ECU will send the signal to other, other device so that they can take actions. In this image you can see the whole arrangement of how MAP sensor is attached to the manifold. This black box is the is the, is the image of the manifold. This these blue lines are the extruded part of the map sensor uh, and this uh, extruded part is entering inside this uh, manifold and this red strip you can see over here is the silicon chip so the main role is played by this silicon chip so now coming to the how it works as the sta air starts rushing inside this manifold what will happen is due to the Bernoulli principle as the velocity of the air increases inside this manifold the pressure is gonna drop in this manifold and due to this drop of pressure this silicon chip is going going to have uh, uh, experience of forces due to the uh, due to this pressure drop inside this manifold because outside this manifold will be some uh, atmospheric pressure and this atmospheric pressure is going to act on the silicon chip from this uh, this vessel over here and the pressure inside this manifold is the intake manifold manifold pressure so uh, due to this difference in the pressure the the there will be some deformation in the silicon chip now coming to when the pressure when the pedal is not pressed so at that moment this strip will be lying on this vessel or the extruded part of the map sensor like this in the straight line now when the pressure or the when the pedal is pressed what will happen due to the decrease in the pressure in the manifold this uh, uh, this uh, silicon chip is going to have experience a force in the upward direction in the manifold direction and it will try to suck this uh, silicon chip upward and the uh, atmosphere pressure will try to force push it inside so in this way it it will just deform like this now what will happen you can easily see because these end points are fixed and due to suction uh, there is some deformation like this and due to this deformation you can see the length of the silicon chip has increased so as the length increases and uh, uh, there must be change in the cross section and th that will be decreasing and due to this change in length and the cross section area the resistance of the silicon chip must have been in dec increased and due to this increasing resistance if I pass the current through this silicon chip we can easily notice the change in that change in the current that is passing through this chip now if I if I send the current from this one end of the silicon chip and collect the current from the other end and just uh, and just uh, observe the change in that current at this moment the current will be more because the resistance is less and at this moment the current will be less because the resistance is more now as as much that there is a uh, difference in the current there will be more resistance in the uh, in the silicon chip and as the resistance increases in the silicon chip there must be change in the uh, pressure inside the manifold as high as the pressure higher will be the resistance and lower will be the current in this algorithm in this way the algorithms are made inside the ECU and that those algorithms are programmed inside the ECU so that they can easily uh, they can easily guesstimate how much amount of the air must be entering through the manifold and after that these uh, whole signals are gonna send to the ECU the change in current then ECU just uses its algorithms and then take the actions by sending the signals to the injector now the injector is gonna inject more fuel if the pressure drop is more more of the fuel will be entering because the air, because the injector has to ma maintain the air fuel mixture ratio so as to have a higher efficiency and higher performance so in this way this whole works so summarizing all this will be like when the accelerator pedal is pressed pressed the more of the air will be entering inside it and as much amount of the air is entering inside the manifold more will more will be the difference in the pressure and due to this difference there will be the flex flex in the chip and due to this chip flex the resistance will change and due to this change in resistance the voltage will change and due to this voltage in the in in the res, in the in the chip the fuel will be injected more because these this voltage change is gonna send to the ECU and in that way 
AC will send the signals to the injector. There are two more sensors that are required with this MAP sensor. One is engine speed sensor so that it, it can just check whether the more fuel is entering. If the more fuel is entering there must be increase in the engine RPM so that it can just check whether the whole system is working properly or not. And another thing that is required is air temperature, inlet intake air temperature sensor. So intake air temperature sensor is gonna sense the, um, the temperature of the air that is gonna enter inside this manifold. Because as the temperature increases, the density of the air is gonna decrease. So as the density decreases, there is more of the flow of the air and the pressure difference will be, uh, will be different. So the, and the EC can take better decisions for that these two sensors are also required. I think I am very much clear to you about the map sensor. If you still have any doubts and any queries, you can please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I am on Facebook, I am on Instagram. You can please ask me and send me questions over there also. I am ready to help you at, at any time. Please comment down what you like about the video. If you didn't like this video, you can please comment how I can improve myself. Thanks a lot guys for watching my video. Keep watching, keep sharing and keep supporting guys. Thanks a lot.